If ever I'm wearing just gloves and like short sleeves, I kind of feel like a hitman. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of American Minuteman gear. And today we are going to talk about gloves. Um, there's a couple things I think just to note about gloves. This isn't as much as like what gloves you should use, although I'll tell you what my favorite current ones are more so kind of a philosophy of gloves and how they work. So I have a bunch of different pairs of gloves with me right here. Um, so these are a LAPG, LA Police Gear glove that I got off. Uh, these are a deerskin glove that I got from uh, Home Depot of all places. Um, here is a set of Magpul gloves with like a leather palm and uh, kind of a synthetic, synthetic back to them. Uh, these are a set of 511 gloves that uh, have like a synthetic leather palm. This isn't real leather and some kind of whatever backing here and maybe like a little like soft nose wipe glass cleaning screen thing uh, so you can like wipe your glasses. It's kind of a cool little little feature there. Um, these are a set of hardy gloves that are real cheap that I got from uh, Harbor Freight um, on, a, on a whim. I haven't really used these a lot. Synthetic leather kind of uh, like a fall hunty pattern, real tree kind of ish pattern on the back there. And then these are a uh, mechanics set of gloves. These are their super thin ones. These are like the point, like a half millimeter thin um, palm grip, which I really like because you get, you, you, get, you get pretty good dexterity out of these. I, I do like that a lot. Uh, and then these are like the mechanics um, fast fit gloves. These are, these come in the multi-cam because they got fancy and uh, you know, synthetic-y palm, but just the fast fit. There's no Velcro or anything like that. Just pull them on and, and you're set. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, about gloves because I got some varieties here. You know, obviously I've been using gloves for a long time. So the first thing I think to know about gloves is they're required. <laughs> um, if you're gonna be doing American Minute man -y stuff, and you're gonna be out in the field, or even more so, I would say, if you're gonna be urban around things like broken glass and you know sharp metal and uh, wrecked up cars and just you know all that kind of stuff, you want gloves. Uh, you want gloves for protection purposes, right? So you're not just slicing your hand open on all these potentially sharp things, right? Or again, if you're in like open combat, you know, there's things like barbed wire and other things that are meant to hurt you, right? Um, gloves, gloves help. So they're there for a protection reason. And even if you're out in the field, you're not urban, right? You're, you're less likely to be directly cut by the environment. But out in the field, you know, a, a small cut on your hand can be kind of a pain. You gotta make sure it doesn't get infected, and you gotta put Neosporin on it, and you gotta put a Band-Aid on it, and you gotta take extra care to make sure that that doesn't become a future problem, right? Because if it gets infected and or just, you know, hurts, makes your life uncomfortable and difficult in general. Um, you, don't, you don't want that. As much as we can minimize cuts and damages in the field, the better off we're gonna be, right? Now the whole patrol's gotta stop so you can treat your little cut. Um, sounds silly, but again, if those things become a bigger problem, it, 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 that's gonna turn into an issue for you. So gloves are absolutely required. Um, when we talk about PPE, we talk about eyes and ears, uh, you know, some kind of a helmet. I would probably, I'm probably always gonna wear my helmet. You, your opinion might vary, but I'm probably always gonna wear my helmet. Um, knee pads, I think knee pads are almost required. Uh, I have yet to find a really good set of knee pads. So if you know that, you know, let me know. Uh, and then gloves. Gloves, right? They're, they're a standard part of PPE. I always had a set of gloves, right? They always come with these nice little hangers. Uh, I always have a set of gloves carabinered to my chest rig or my teaching belt. These super uh, skinny ones, these are on my teaching belt all the time uh, for when I teach classes. Although, to be honest, when I teach, I don't really wear gloves. My gun doesn't usually get hot enough that that's really an issue. Everyone else's does, but I don't, you don't get to shoot as much when you teach. That's just what happens. Uh, so anyway, Gloves are required, okay? I think that's the first thing to know about gloves. The second thing is, and this doesn't seem fair, but gloves are consumables. Um, they're not gonna last forever. So these are a set of Magpul gloves. I've had these for a long time, and I got these warm a bit, and then I actually wore them when I uh, did some reflooring on my house, and you know, we wore the, wore the finger out there, right? So now these usually just ride in my truck as this kind of an emergency pair of gloves if you know I'm doing something and I, I need some gloves. So uh, again, like they're, they're consumables. They're not gonna last forever. It doesn't matter 
how cool or fancy or expensive they were, they're gonna wear out. That's the point of a glove, right? I wear a glove so that, uh, one, I protect myself, but two, what takes the abrasion and the abuse is, is the glove and not my hand, right? That, that's how gloves work. And so eventually, no matter what, this is gonna wear, right? I'm, I'm gonna abuse and use this enough that this will take enough wear, abrasion, etc., that it, it's gonna wear thin, it's gonna wear through, you're gonna, you're gonna get you know, a hole in your glove, the stitching is gonna come loose, whatever. So all that to be said, because of those two factors, they're, they're required and they're consumables, those two factors come together to me and I think there's a, there's a balance point in there, right? I personally, and this is just me, you do you, um, am not gonna buy super expensive, super nice gloves. I just, that's a tough sell for me because like I said, no matter what, right, they're, they're gonna wear. Um, they're, they're gonna wear out. So what, you know, if, if I buy this really nice pair of gloves, now I don't wanna wear them out. Um, so what am, I, what am I gonna do about that? So for me, there's, there's a healthy balance. And currently, kind of my go-to is the Mechanics uh, Fast Fit gloves. I, I think these have the best balance between you know, what they are. So like for me, right, I like dexterity. I want, I want a high amount of dexterity with my gloves. These half millimeter Mechanics gloves have the best dexterity out of any glove I've tried. These are not all my gloves. These are just what I have right now as I was cleaning up my uh, gear shelf. But, um, these overall have the best dexterity. I've already worn through one pair of these, uh, but again, half millimeters, so you have high dexterity, but they're gonna wear faster, right? So uh, again, it's, it's all a balance. There's no such thing as a perfect glove. But the Mechanics Fast Fit, I like that they don't have uh, a Velcro thing, right? I pull them on, boom, I'm done. There's nothing, there's no Velcro to come undone or to strap up or whatever. I just pull them on, they're done. Uh, the price to wear ratio is pretty good. Um, between the dexterity is not bad, it's not, it's not fantastic, but I can do well enough. I can do all the tactical things. If I really need to, if I need to get really dexterous, I'm always gonna have to pull my gloves off no matter what I'm wearing. Um, but these are, these are good enough. They're, they're, they're above passable, should I say. Um, above good enough. So I like the dexterity, they're not super thick. They uh, are, again, gonna wear out eventually and they're not gonna break the bank to replace. You can get the multicam ones, you can get them in green. Uh, I try to avoid black gloves anymore. Um, just because I think it, it stands out. If I'm gonna be in the field and I want a field glove, I want something that's gonna blend a little bit better. So I go with the multicams or the greens. I have a set of green of these somewhere. Um, you know, but that, that's what I'm trying to do, right? I'm trying to get a camo-ish colored glove, you know, be it that, that tanny thing or the Maltese or, or whatever, even maybe this. Again, I haven't worn these really. I bought these like a year ago and I haven't used these a ton. So I can't really speak to gloves effectiveness, but they're all gonna wear out and, and they're all gonna go, um, go into the trash eventually. So having that balance to me between cost and then knowing that they're essential, they need to protect my hands, they need to do a job. Ideally, I wanna maintain as much dexterity as I can, but they're gonna wear out. So what's, what's the price point in that I can get there to get those things knowing that I'm gonna have to replace them eventually? And, and for me right now, and that could change, it's the mechanic fast fits, okay? Maybe someday I'll get to make my own pair of gloves and maybe we can, we can shimmy that around a bit. But for right now, for me, this is where I'm coming in. This is my current philosophy on gloves. So what I would tell you is when you think about your gloves, again, consider those things. They're absolutely required and they're consumables and eventually they're gonna die on you. So have multiple pairs, right? The other thing I try to do is when I see gloves go on sale, like, you know, I'll check like 5.11's website, for example, right? That's where I got these ones. Um, I have a couple pairs of 5.11's floating around right now. And I was checking their website. These were on sale, so I scooped them, right? Because I know, again, I'm gonna need them they're gonna wear and, and they're a discounted price from what they normally are. And I don't remember what I paid for these, but I just remember I bought them on sale because it was reasonable at the time. And so I got them, right? And eventually when they wear, they'll go and, and I'll, I'll put on a new pair. So that's, again, my general philosophy about gloves. If you can find ones that are discounted, great. If you just wanna go with the Mechanics Fast Fits, I think these are the best overall Minute Man field glove right now. Um, you know, none of these can do heat, of, of course, except the deerskin ones. Uh, these are my general like work around the yard kind of glove. That's why they're they're beat up, right? But leather. If you're going to do anything with heat, uh, leather's required. All these synthetics will melt probably to your skin, and that's probably not very good. Uh, but leather does a really good job with that, and leather's just going to generally be the toughest, right? These are deerskin, so they're very they're very supple. Um, but like I said, consider what it is you're doing. If we're just talking about general fieldy, minute manny stuff, currently, right now, for me, these are kind of my go-to. Again, when I can get stuff on sale and 
I can pick up the 511s or whatever, then I'm gonna do that, right? These LA police gear ones, I haven't tried these a ton. I think I got these on sale too. And it's why they're in here. They're, these are black, right? Which I usually don't prefer. So that's kind of how I think through gloves. It's kind of how I approach the topic. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now for, for how I manage my different, my different pairs of gloves. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you something to think about. If you got some super sexy pair of gloves, don't let me ruin that. Enjoy those things, right? Just understand that eventually they'll wear out and you're gonna want multiple pairs so that you can replace them as things go. And they don't have to be the same pair, right? If you're really autistic like that and you want like uniform 15 pairs of this one glove because you love it so much, hey, again, knock yourself out. I just kind of grab what I can, especially if it's on sale and it looks like a decent glove. So hope that's helpful. Hope that uh, furthers your Minuteman gear development. Do brave deeds and endure.